President Obama's first state visit has put all of Israel on a festive mode. Upon his arrival, the first thing the president had to say was that it's no coincidence at all that the first trip of his second term was to Israel. His warm words about the bond between the two nations certainly gave hope that this might turn out to be a historic visit for the Jewish state. Thank you for this incredibly warm welcome. This is my third visit to Israel. So let me just say, Tov lehiyot shuv baharetz. The day started very early with hundreds of media representatives arriving as early as 6 a.m. for the security check. It's a big challenge for us and uh, actually we um, prepared for this uh, we called it operation, it's a big operation for us, but uh, you could see by your, yourself that uh, we are ready and we hope that this uh, visit will be successful for all of us. Meanwhile, Marine One landed and got ready with several other helicopters to transport the Obama delegation across Israel. <laughs> TV and radio networks started broadcasting live at around 10 when also the Israeli political, military and spiritual leadership started arriving. Most cabinet members thought that Israel's existential threat should be the main focal points to be discussed with the American president. It's uh, totally different from what we were uh, promised uh, by all uh, our, uh, let's say, uh, uh, opponents that if uh, President Obama will uh, be elected for his second term, it will be a disaster and catastrophe in the relations between uh, President Obama and the, sec and the, and the new uh, government of uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu. And two days after the sworn, he is here uh, once again to say that he is committed to the security and to the safety of the state of Israel. President Obama is a big friend. He's standing behind Israel on the main uh, issue of Iran. Uh, he committed that he would not accept the notion of a, a nuclear Iran. At this time, uh, Iran is, is racing towards acquiring a nuclear weapon. The pace has been accelerated, and we uh, believe that our big friend will help us. The timing of this uh, visit is, is crucial. So we have uh, great expectations from uh, our great friend America. We need to decide together how to relaunch the negotiations between Israel and the Palestinians based on the understanding that it is the interest of uh, our two nations. For newly appointed Health Minister Yael German, this was her first state visit as an elected official. It's very exciting. You know that I think that uh, uh, President Obama is a symbol and I really admire him, admire him for what he is, admire him for what he achieved. And for me, it's very exciting to meet him, to shake his hand. I hope I will. At exactly 12.30, President Obama exited Air Force One. Next, it was time for the national anthems to be played. He then joined President Perez to salute the honor guards of IDF soldiers who came to welcome him. The president proceeded to shake hands with cabinet members whose names he knew by heart, as well as to talk to them each about something personal. Yair Lapid, for example, told reporters afterwards, the American president said to him, you see, your dreams do come true, so be careful what you wish for. President Perez, Prime Minister Netanyahu and President Obama each gave a short speech trying to emphasize the unbreakable bond between the two nations. On behalf of the government and the people of Israel, I come here today with a simple message for you and the American people. Thank you. Thank you for standing by Israel at this time of historic change in the Middle East. Thank you for unequivocally affirming Israel's sovereign right to defend itself by itself against any threat. I want to begin right now by answering a question that is sometimes asked about our relationship. Why? Why does the United States stand so strongly, so firmly with the state of Israel? And the answer is simple. We stand together because we share a common story. 
patriots determined to be a free people in our land. The United States of America stands with the State of Israel because it is in our fundamental national security interest to stand with Israel. It makes us both stronger, it makes us both more prosperous, and it makes the world a better place. Less than 30 minutes after his arrival in Israel, Barack Obama got on Marine One as it took him on a tour of Israel in the air. For Jane One, I'm Ron Jacobson at Ben Gurion Airport in Israel.